Welcome to this video and in this video I would like to show and explain you how you can analyze your SQL statements in ABAP, in SAP GUI and in the ABAP development tools, so ADT in Eclipse. You have a lot of analyzer possibilities and they are so useful uh, because the SQL trace view is the central tracing tool in general for database access. You have the ability to activate and deactivate the SQL trace um, in the SAP GUI in the transaction code ST05 or directly within the IDE Eclipse with the ABAP development tools. The results of so the recorded traces will be displayed uh, in the technical monitor cockpit or so the browser based app if you would like to view it out of the uh, Eclipse of the ADT and within the SAP GUI they will be displayed in the ST05 transaction code. Um, of course, you can trace the database access, um, you can monitor the traffic between um, different ABAP systems and the databases across users, clients and server instances. And what is the most important that you analyze your SQL statements. So you can analyze the duration on the database, the number of records, you can show the native uh, SQL syntax and the execution plans. Um, you also have some restrictions. Um, only one user can switch on um, the SQL trace at the same time. So yeah, you have to align a little bit because um, you would just would like to record your uh, needed SQL uh, statements, not every SQL statement, and you have to filter your statements because best practice is that you activate a SQL trace, that you execute your other program that you would like to analyze further, and then that you switch off the SQL trace. And within the ADT, no recording filters are available when you activate the SQL trace. Um, so there's also a limitation. And I would like to show you how you can use the SQL trace in Eclipse, so the ADT and in the SAP GUI in the ST05. So enjoy this video and let's get started. You can analyze your SQL statements in SAP GUI and to do this you have to open up the ST05 transaction code. So just simply enter the transaction code in the OK code field, hit the enter key, then you are here. So basically here you can see what is the status of the stack trace currently set to off. Progress display also set to off. Here you can see that all traces are switched off. Um, by the way, besides SQL trace, you also have the possibilities to activate other traces within here as well. But we would like to focus on the SQL trace. And basically, uh, first of all, you have to activate your trace. So simply click on activate trace recording or hit the F8 key on your keyboard. Then you can see that the SQL trace is activated with a uh, being done by this SAP user developer. And now the trace is on. And what you then have to do is then you have to execute your SQL statement that you would like to analyze further on. And to do this, we go into the SE38 transaction code and then basically opening up our sample program, set example SQL trace. Of course, you can also click on display to see what's happening. Once again, having uh, one uh, statement, select statement and one output. Now you would like to um, execute your program, hit the F8 key or this button. Then you will see the output, close this, then close this window as well, because then after your SQL statements, we would like to deactivate the trace. So simply click on deactivate trace after selecting SQL trace. Then you will see that the status has been switched to all traces are switched off. And then the SQL statements have been traced, recorded, and you can analyze the traces. And to do this, you simply within the ST05 transaction have to click on trace after selecting the trace type. And here you have also some uh, possibilities to, to filter if you want to. 
so that is perfectly fine in my case i remove just the username i execute this and here you have your performance analyzer so the trace display and for example if you just would like to see your traces being done in your program then right click on program name then set the filter and just simply set the filter to set asterisk because here we are in our set example program and then you can see what is happening so here you can see your um, sql statements you can see the start time the duration so you can also if you would like to sort them for example ascending descending would you like to you can see the number of um, records within here as mentioned the program name the object name and the statement itself so and for example if you double click then you will also see uh, here the native sql trace and the variables and if you have a question mark then you have a sql parameter and this is the parameter being used at runtime to get the data and here you can analyze this further on here right now we are in eclipse and i have opened up a sample program called set underscore example underscore sql underscore trace to just simple do one simple select on the demo flight table and then basically uh, yeah output these data with the with the cl demo output class so if i hit the f8 key on my keyboard then basically here you can see what's happening so you output all the data on the sample table and basically yeah if we want to uh, work with the sql trace and then we have uh, within eclipse have to right click directly on the project it's important that you right click on the project not on any uh, package on the class on the report on the project and then here you have the option sql trace if you click on this then you will see the uh, current sql trace state so currently it's set to off um, what is the or who is the user that made the last changes and the last change on this date basically and you have to make sure that uh, before analyzing the sql trace you have to activate the sql trace then you have to run your program so to make all the sql statements and then you have to deactivate the sql trace to uh, basically view the trace directory so currently it's set to off nothing will be recorded will be traced so we activate it and now basically you can see that the sql trace state has been uh, changed to on we can see that currently the developer user made the last changes so and that's perfectly fine so we click on ok now we as mentioned run our program once again so i hit the f8 key to execute the selection that's perfectly fine and now i would like to deactivate it so once again right click sql trace and then deactivate so that the status will be turned to off once again and that's basically all how you can trace your sql statements how you, uh, you can record your sql statements and basically to view the trace you can click on the view trace directory and the trace directory will be uh, um, opened up in the browser and then i'm getting this screen <laughs> don't worry um, I'm working with the ABBA platform trial 1909 version and therefore um, I have not set up the corresponding service. So that's what we're going to do. So therefore we open up the SAP GUI with the developer user and then we go into the SIGF transaction code to basically define the services. And to go back into the browser, here you can see that the SAP BC STMS UI5 service is being called and that is what we're gonna 
activate. So basically, um, yeah, just simply search for asterisk UI5 asterisk and then execute the selection. And then, as mentioned, we go into SAP, BC, and then we need the STMS and then you can right click and then activate the service and we would like to activate also all sub services so that's where we click on yes so therefore now it's being activated and then we basically do a little refresh on the site um, you have to sign in once again so with the developer and then the password And uh, here you have basically some filters, so you can select some characteristics that you want to. You can add some uh, metrics. You can add also some uh, filters if you want to. You can add also some sort and you can also limit the shown rows. Um, and here you have basically uh, yeah, a lot of uh, possibilities. First of all, I recommend to remove the owner. So you see everything, click on apply once again. And now with this, we would like to analyze the trace further. So we click there. And within here, basically, yeah, you're seeing the statements, the different statements um, with the durations. You can filter them if you want to. Just click on the title of the column, for example, sort descending. And here, for example, you see the statement that took the most time. So you can click on there. And with the arrow, for example, you would like to get some, uh, yeah, SQL statement so you see the native SQL statement in here and uh, here you have a question mark so this is the parameter being used and for example if you would like to get back then here you can go once back and if we for example click there there you can for example have the directly above location in eclipse in adt or once again in the browser you can also click on access plan to get there some detailed information if you want to analyze this further on but yeah so i click on above location html and then here you can see that there is this ABAP statement. If you, for example, would like to uh, analyze different one, then this is also perfectly fine. So I would like to filter on my program. So beginning with set. So here we have our basically our statements in our set program. Here we see what took the most time. And for example, if I click there and then click on above location HTML, then here we can see our SQL statement. And you can also analyze this further on if you want to. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please hit the like button. If you have any questions left, put them in the comment section and please subscribe to not miss great upcoming videos. Thank you so much and see you in the next video.